Next plant today is Magnolia denudata. This is the Yulon Magnolia. So we're doing several magnolias during the term and they should be uh, fairly easy to identify. There are a lot more magnolias than we're going to do this term. It's not because I don't like magnolias, um, but uh, I, I want to make them manageable, but also give you a sense of a little bit of the diversity in the genus. Okay, so Magnolia denudata is a uh, 30 to 40 foot tall tree in the landscape. Okay, so I don't want you to get the sense that uh, you know you can go buy a, a magnolia and stick it in any spot in the landscape. This is going to be a, a pretty large tree. One more thing I want to talk about before I get into the specifics on uh, Magnolia denudata is uh, the, the, in a previous video earlier in the term I, uh, I talked about the subjectivity and uh, some, some points on plant identification and that you should look over lots of different material. Okay? And that material, which part of the plant from which you get it, is really important. So what I'm actually holding right here, this is a root sucker that I got from the base of this tree. So this is juvenile material and I want to point out that about, uh, it had about four feet, three and a half, four feet of growth during this year. Okay, and, and typically, this is adult material that I got from a little higher on the tree, and it had about eight inches. Okay, so juvenile material is going to be much more vigorous, the internodes are going to be longer, and the leaves are oftentimes going to be much, much larger. So here's a juvenile leaf from a root sucker, and here is a typical leaf from Magnolia denudata. Okay, so they are more typically four and a half to five inches long, they are obovate. They are abruptly acuminate. I think I mentioned that they are alternately arranged. Okay? So this is sort of an intermediate size leaf for the magnolias that we're going to be doing uh, during the term. One key identification, so if, if you're going to mix up Magnolia denudata, I would say you would mix it up with Magnolia solangiana that we'll do a little bit later and Magnolia stellata that we'll do uh, during this list. But it should be no problem if you keep in mind a, a couple of things. Magnolia denudata is a cream color uh, flower, so it's an off-white, excuse me, and it has a relatively low number of tepals. Okay? Compared to Magnolia stellata that is a uh, pure white flower, and it has many more uh, tepals on the order of 20, whereas Magnolia denudata has more like 5 to 7. Okay? Also Magnolia denudata is a much larger flower and it's held more upright, whereas Magnolia stellata is a completely reflexed flower that is uh, fairly small. Okay? So if you keep in mind that Magnolia denudata is a tree in the landscape, it has larger, upright, cream color flowers with relatively few tepals, it should be no problem identifying Yulon magnolia. 